Hello booktube. Today I'm doing the New Year's book tag 2020. I was tagged by Jason Harrigan of Byways and Bookland. Thank you Jason for the tag. So let's begin. One, how many books are you planning to read in 2020? Um, I want to try to read between 96 and 100. If I go over 100, that would be great, but I think 96 to 100 is a good general target. Name five books that you didn't get to read in 2019, but want to make a priority in 2020. I have six books I want to uh, make a priority. Um, so I'll start with the fantasy books. First is uh, Gates of Stone by Angus McCallan. Uh, next is Still Crow Saga by Paul Kruger. And finally is The Women's War by Jenna Glass. And then um, some nonfiction I want to read. Um, Imagined Life by James Treffel and Michael Summers, which I will be getting to today. And then I have um, Alexander the Great by Anthony Everett. Um, I read an Alexander the Great biography that came out in 2018 uh, last November, and yeah, I think I recovered enough for another Alexander biography. I can only take so much of him before I go, ugh. And then finally, Big Wonderful Thing, A History of Texas by Stephen Harrigan, which is my big goal to read sometime soon. Uh, three, what genre do you want to read more of in 2020? History. Definitely history. Um, four, name three non-book related goals for 2020. I want to, um, paint more. Um, so far I've mentioned several times I'm a hobby Pastelists. I like to paint with pastels, which are these little sticks of pigment that you can both draw and paint with. Um, I occasionally get these urges to splurge on buying pastel paper and pastels and then painting, and then I'll go several months without touching them. They're just in a spare closet space just languishing but I want to try to paint at least twice a week during the weekends uh, for like maybe 30 minutes to an hour to try to improve my skills I did some painting this past weekend um, the painting I did on Saturday I actually quite liked um, and then the one I painted on Sunday, I didn't particularly care for. Um, I'm a fairly decent landscape painter. Um, but I, uh, the painting I tried to do Sunday was of a flower. It was a, an iris. And while I liked the background, because I wanted to try to really do sort of a somewhat bouquet or bokeh background where it's kind of uh, not in out of focus um, but also trying to differentiate the various um, greens of the grasses and flowers um, it kind of didn't turn out quite how I'd hoped it would and then I had the flower itself horribly out of proportion. Um, so that is certainly something I need to work on is my drawing skills too. 
Um, I also want to finish the novel that I started with for my NaNoWriMo project and or rewrite it and then maybe try to write another novel or two um, before the end of the year. And number three, I would like to cook more, especially um, trying new dishes that I haven't tried before. I have um, four cookbooks that I've tried some recipes from and I want to try some more recipes from them and maybe pick up a few more cookbooks. Okay, number five. What's a book you've had forever that you still need to read? The Line of Beauty by Alan Hollinghurst. I bought this in 2004, 2005. Um, and maybe 2000, maybe it's been later than that. Cause I could have sworn I bought this at book people, but I don't have the book people tag on it because, uh, book people have, uh, this giant independent bookstore in Austin has its own, um, like barcode tags on the back of the books and this one doesn't have it. So I'm. Wondering if I bought it in 2006, which again, I mean, it's still, I've had this forever and I haven't read it yet. Um, so anyway, no, definitely the line of beauty. Uh, one word you're hoping 2020 will be, uh, One word, um, relief, <laughs> definitely relief. Um, so number seven, tag people. If you haven't already done this tag and you have a booktube channel, consider set yourselves tagged. Thank you, booktube. And I'll try to have uh, another tag up here in a few minutes too. Thank you and have a great day.